Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the binary tree pre-order traversal problem. Given a binary tree, return the pre-order traversal of its nodes values. So the input is this tree, and the method returns the pre-order traversal as a list. So as you know, in the pre-order traversal, first you process the root, then you traverse the left subtree, and then you traverse the right subtree. And this is a form of DFS. In a tree, you can do the pre-order, in-order, and post-order, and this is the pre-order. So you can do this problem in different ways. The most common way to do it is using recursion. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it recursively. So first, I'm going to do a list of integer. The final result gets a value of new array list of integer. If the tree is empty, if root equals equals null, just return the final result as an empty list. Then I'm going to have a helper method. I'm going to call it DFS. I'm going to pass the root and I'm going to pass the final result list. So this is going to be a recursive method and every recursive call, the result will be built. New elements will be added to it. Finally, return the final result. So here I'm gonna make my private void the DFS method. Actually I'm gonna call it pre-order. I think it's better to call it pre-order. And here I'm gonna call it pre-order. So I'm, it's gonna be as input a pointer to know the root and a list of integer the final result. So I'm going to do this recursively. So I need a base case. What's the base case? It's whenever there's a null link. So when the algorithm, when the method is calling itself and it finds that it cannot go left anymore because it is null, or it cannot go right anymore, then that's when it has to go back up. So that's the, that's the base case. So if root equals equals null, return back up. Okay, then because this is pre-order, remember that first you have to process the node. So how do we process the node here? We add it to the final list. So result.add root that value. And then we have to traverse the left subtree and then we have to traverse the right subtree. So we can do this recursively. We recurse to the left and recurse to the right. That means that the left subtree will be taken care of and the right subtree will be, will be taken care of. So I say pre-order root that left result pre-order root that right result. All right, so the method is calling itself. So this is gonna uh, traverse the entire tree using a pre-order traversal. So I'm gonna run the code Okay, so it seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit the solution. All right. So as you can see, the time complexity is big of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. Um, but then if you read the description, it has a follow-up question. The recursive solution is trivial. Could you do it iteratively? And the answer is yes. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do it iteratively because the interviewer might ask you how you can do it iteratively. Sometimes the recursive solution is not the best solution depending on the problem. So please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.